What up, what up, what up, y'all? Hey, you already know what it is. It's Fatboy Chronicles. I'm here again. About to do another clipping segment. Hey, y'all see, I got the red wine popping today, right? So today we're going to do something real grown up and sexy, right? So I got the smooth, you know, little W A U A. Y'all know what that is. If you live in Chicago, you know what that is, right? W A U A 95.5. You already know how the vibe was, right? We're going to do something real grown up today. We're going to make short ribs, right? So we're going to make short ribs with some smoked Gouda grits, all right? Come on, check it out. All right, y'all, first things first, we got our short ribs, right? So I did the butcher's cut short ribs because these are, in my opinion, the best, right? So that bone on one side, and then you got your meat on the other. So these have already been seasoned with fresh cracked pepper and sea salt, right? Stop using that iodine salt. Use good sea salt. It makes a difference. All right, so we got some celery, some onions, some carrots in here, a can of tomato paste, some fresh thyme, grits. I ain't saying the name of grits, though. You already know. They got to pay me. All right, so uh, we got some vinegar. We got some red wine. We got some beef stock. And then some prunes. I'm going to tell you about those in a minute. All right, that's all we need. Hey, y'all, real quick, this one. This is not a real quick kind of dinner. This is something that's about, I'm, it's daytime right now, right? By the time I get done with this, it's going to be nighttime, right? So. Get you a good bottle of red wine. Get you a dope ass playlist. Get some dusties, right? Get bring that WNUA vibe in there. And, and right, vibe out. first things first, we're gonna sear off our short ribs. So you see, I got a smoking hot uh, cast iron skillet. Hey, we're gonna brown all six sides. All right. So let's go ahead and add them. All right, y'all. So the short ribs have been seared all six sides. Y'all have six sides to it. Make sure you do all six. All right. We're just gonna let those sit for a second, and then we're gonna take. Our vegetables right so celery onion and carrots and in the same oil I cut the fire down a little bit that's fine that's flavor down the bottom there we're gonna add these all right y'all we're just gonna let it get some color so we're not even gonna go five minutes we're gonna go about maybe three all right just let it get a little color I'll transfer our vegetables over to our Dutch oven if you don't have one you gotta get a Dutch oven all right and then I um, added two heaping tablespoons of garlic. Right. I add a big heaping tablespoon of tomato paste. All right, we're gonna cook some of the rawness out of that tomato just for a few moments. So yeah, give it give it like a minute, minute and a half, right? And then we're gonna add our wine. So I'm using a Merlot. You can use a Cabernet Sauvignon. You can use whatever red wine you like, but make sure it's a dry red wine. Add your beef broth. Add your bay leaf. All right, so what's going on now? So we got our, our celery, our onions, our carrots, all this stuff with the broth, the wine, the bay leaf, the garlic, tomato paste, all this stuff is going, we're gonna let that come to a boil and reduce by about half. So a pretty rigorous boil, but watch it, right? Cause you don't want to stick at the bottom, okay? So we're almost to the point that we can start relaxing, but not quite, okay? So we gotta add one more ingredient. All right, so prunes. So when you think of prunes, you know what people use prunes for, but it's, it's more than what, it's more than what, people use prunes for, right? So prunes are naturally sweet. These are nothing but plums, right? Wine is made from grapes and plums and all that stuff, right? So if you can use it and drink wine, all this is gonna do is fortify that that that, that broth and give a level of sweetness, right? So not a sugary sweetness, but a, just a, what you put in there, kind of sweetness, right? So if you wanna kind of surprise people, you couldn't fool them, be like, hey, you put something in there, I can't put my finger on it. Prunes. All right, so I'm gonna add a good handful of prunes and mix it up. All right, y'all can see the sauce has reduced a lot which is good that means those flavors have really intensified this is a great time to adjust your seasoning so if you need to add a little bit of salt feel free to do that right now you know what i'm saying garlic whatever you got to do you know what i'm saying go ahead and and adjust your seasoning right here all right so once you got it where you want it you're gonna take your short ribs look at that that looks good right all right so now we're gonna put our short ribs and nestle those down into our broth all right, so uh, you all can see we put them in there. Look at that. That's already looking sexy. Looking real sexy. All right, so what is this? This is our time. What I did, I just made a bouquet of it with some kitchen twine. Don't use like, you know what I'm saying? It's got to be kitchen twine. All right, we're going to nestle that down in here. Hey, what y'all know about this song? Y'all know she was talking about Jerry LeVert, right? All right, so now we're going to put the lid on, and we're going to pop this in the oven at 350 for three hours. Um... The short ribs are in the oven, and they got three hours. Now you could, I mean, I don't even say later hours, but you can probably run a, quick, a couple quick errands or something like that. All right, let it go in there. At the hour and a half mark, we're gonna check on it. Turn the short ribs over so both sides can equally get that braising liquid and braise. All right, but you, you got some time, right? So go ahead and dress up, put on something good and sexy. I don't know what the vibe is at your house. If you just eating or you got somebody coming over, I don't know, you know what I'm who are me to judge? But whatever, you got three hours. So we're an hour and some change in. So we just took it out to check it. And it's tender, but it ain't where we want it. All right, but you see 
that beef fat has definitely come up to the top. We're gonna get rid of some of that, but it's gonna go back in the oven for another hour. Hour later, look at what we got. Hey, look how tender that is. Hey. Oh man, the bone already slipped out of that one. Tender. Tender. All right, so now what, what we gotta do? We're gonna take these short ribs out. And we're not done yet. So I told you all it's gonna take a little minute. This ain't no easy dinner, right? So. Oh, ooh, tender. All right, so this is what's left. This is all that good celery, that carrots, all that good stuff. This is gold. Like, we're not gonna get rid of this, all right? Even them prunes, okay? But you see that? You see why it's so shiny? That's because of all the oil. So we gotta get that oil off. So what we're gonna do, that's what I told you, this is gonna take a little while. So now we have to refrigerate this. We're gonna put it in something, refrigerate it, let the oil come to the top, skim it off, and then do something and make a gravy or an ajou. So this is what happens after we let the oil cool off. All right, all that fat comes to the top. You don't wanna eat that, right? So what we're gonna do is scrape that off. All that fat off, discard it, it's no good. Throw it in the garbage. And then underneath there is all of our ajou. All right, so we're gonna take all of those bits, all that carrot, celery, and all that. We're gonna blend this up until it is smooth and then we're gonna cook it on low. So here's all of our vegetables. Everything is now pureed and ground up and made a nice sauce, right? It's too thick though, right? So we gotta thin it up and we gotta add a little, another level of aromatics and stuff, right? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the rest of our beef broth. It's not that much. We're gonna add the rest of our red wine. Might as well. And then for a little bit of brightness, we wanna add a little bit of balsamic vinegar. So now here's a great time to adjust the seasonings. So if you know me, you already know what I added, right? Just my regular house seasonings, a little bit of spice, cause spice makes it nice. All right. So man, this gravy right here? This gravy right here? Hey, it's good. We're gonna add some more fresh thyme, but this time we're gonna actually take the leaves off of the stem. So Our gravy is, is, is gravy in. I'm trying to tell y'all, hey, that gravy is gravy in. All right, so we're gonna put our short ribs back in. And all we're gonna let do is let these just kinda get married, right? Just come together. All right, the short ribs are taking a final bath in that rich gravy, soaking up all those flavors, right? Hey, they finna be, I can't even wait. Y'all, right, look, hey, shh, don't tell nobody. Tell you and me, right? While I was waiting, I had a short rib. I couldn't, I was hungry. All right, sorry. Um, but I'm finna make these, these grits, okay? So grits. Follow the instructions on there. I make mine a little different. I can't give y'all all my secrets. And if you want me to make you some grits, inbox me. I got you, right? So I can't give you all my secrets, but I just know my grits have been known to change people's lives. People who ain't even eat grits, ate my grits. All right, so uh, we're gonna make our smoke gouda grits. Follow the directions on there, add some smoke gouda. You don't have to use that. Use any kind of sharp cheese that you like. Uh, it's just gonna make your grits a whole lot better. All right, I'll see y'all in a minute. These grits are done. Hey, I can't give y'all all my secrets, but I will say this. These are the best grits I've ever had. Hey, these grits have saved lives. They've saved marriages. Hey, so I was getting ready to plate this, and I'm like, hey, I don't have nothing green on here. So I'm going to make a real, real, real super, super quick, easy, easy um, vegetable. All right, come on. All right, y'all see how easy that was. Takes five, ten minutes. All right, so you ready to plate? I am, let's eat. I got them happy feelings. All right, so we got our short ribs over our smoked Gouda grits. We got our charred Brussels sprouts. And because everything is so rich, that gravy's rich, that cheese is rich, I added a gremolata to go on top. All right, let's eat. All right, y'all. Y'all know what we here for, let's dig in. All right, come on. <laughs> Hey, I can already tell you right now, the way this short rib just, that, 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 I ain't even need a knife. The way that fork just eased in there. Hey, uh. Man. <laughs> hey. Hey, it's that, that, that foot stomping good, right? So you got the cheesiness and the richness of these grits. Man, grits, I'm telling you, life-saving grits. You got the savoriness of that, that short rib with the wine that's been cooked in there, right? So that, that's already amazing. Then you add that brightness 
of the Gremolata, right? So you get both of those rich things, man. Like, hey, plus a glass of red wine, a good. Hey. Get one of these Brussels sprouts. This is literally a perfect dinner. I don't, I don't know what else to say other than that. Like, hey, the like, share, all the good shit on this one. I love y'all. See y'all next time.